Hey guys, welcome back. This is as close to a five minute layout as I'm actually going to get. And it's also my last kind of Halloween themed art project for this year. I have thoroughly moved on to November. I'm working on two 6x8 albums uh, at the same time, which seems like insanity to me, especially right before December Daily. So here we go. Uh, again, I started with a full size photo this time. So I've printed that out just on some uh, Canon matte photo paper, uh, made it black and white so that it will go with all of these little strips that I had left over. These are all from the Mysterial paper pad from Die Cuts with a View. And my title is a very cheaty kind of title, which definitely helped me get this uh, layout done a lot quicker. So over on the left hand side there, you can see a bunch of words. Um, a very long time ago, I went through some of my alphas that were getting harder to use. They had less and less letters. Uh, I went through and made as many words with those as I can. I just put them on a clean sort of thicker sheet um, and popped them away. So I went through that sheet and found a title. So Crafty Magic, you can see there, and I've adhered that straight down onto my photo. It definitely made this whole process a whole lot quicker, I can tell you for sure. Uh, these alphas are very old though. <laughs> they don't have a whole lot in the way of stick left on them. Um, I spent a whole lot of time putting those words together and then have barely used them since. So I'm making a concerted effort to get through them. I did just add a little bit of liquid adhesive before I popped them onto the photo. Now I've used a few of those branding strips and adhered them onto my other full size bit of paper here. I've also trimmed out a tag so I did a whole kind of um, fussy cutting night where I went through some of these bits in this paper pad and ended up with these strips and a few little die cut pieces. The tag was one of them. I'm going to put my journaling on the back there. All I'm doing is just cutting a little slit in my background paper. I just lined up the uh, tag where I wanted it to go and I'm just uh, just marking a couple of little lines and cutting a slit. So I did actually cut like two lines so you can see the slit's a little bit thicker. It just makes it a little bit easier for that tag to slip in and out. I know you can cut a tag slip like this with just one cut of the paper, um, but having the two just makes it a little bit easier for that tag to slip in and out. When I knew where the tag was going to go, I wanted to just fill in the gap a little bit more. So I added one more of those strips and I am going to add some ribbon up to the top of my tag just to make it a little bit easier to pull out. I attached that with my sewing machine and I also stitched down those letters on my photo just to make sure that they stay well and truly stuck. Now I'm going to start adhering everything in and this is the the paper that has the slit for my tag so I only adhered around the outside of it and you can see my tag slips in and out with absolutely no problems at all. You can go ahead and adhere down the photo page and then this layout is all done. So I can tell you I didn't quite make it into five minutes but it really is as close as it's going to get. This has been such a fun challenge and is definitely something that I will be trying to keep in mind as I go forth making layouts in my traveler's notebook. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple of videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.